Our next guest just met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem, and he says the White House is sending Israel mixed messages. So what does the president need to do today during his meeting with Netanyahu? South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham joins me now. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. All right, so you say mixed messages being said. In what way? Well, we shouldn't be talking about what Israel may do to protect themselves. We should be talking about what Iran faces if they continue to enrich uranium. So I'd like the president to give uh, assurance to the Prime Minister of Israel there will be red lines communicated to Iran. We're going to tell them where our red lines are, and we want them to be your red lines. And we'll, through back channels, communicate to the Iranians. And the best way to avoid war with Iran Iran, which would be tough for us, is to, to prove to them they could not win. And the president's got a challenge here. Uh, you know, the bin Laden raid was great, but when you withdraw from Iraq, when you pull back the surge unnecessarily because of this election cycle, it does send mixed messages. And there's a lot of advice coming out of Washington to Israel. My advice to the Israeli prime minister, and I told him this to his face, never lose control of your own destiny. Mm -hmm. The Jewish people's existence is at well, stake here. You went over there. You yes, met I with did. him in person. Yeah. Uh, what did you make of the fact that uh, the reports that came out of that meeting yeah. were that Israel would not tell the U.S. if they were going to attack? I Iran. think it's a counter to the U.S. leaking uh, stories about urging uh, Israel not to attack. My belief is that we should avoid war with Iran if possible, but the worst case scenario is for them to get a nuclear weapon. I've got bipartisan support growing like crazy in the Senate for the idea that we're not going to contain a nuclear armed Iran. If you don't contain them, you have to stop them, either through sanctions, which I think can work, or military strikes. So I think the Prime Minister of Israel needs to be reassured that the United States, one, recognizes Israel can make their own decisions uh, as a sovereign nation, and that we see it just like they do regarding Iran. Well, this is such an important meeting today between Huge. Netanyahu and, and President Obama. And President Huge. Obama spoke to the AIPAC mm -hmm. convention just yesterday. Uh, he said things like, let diplomacy work. I mean, we heard his strong words about that he's not afa afraid to use uh, weapons against Iran. But then he also said, let diplomacy work. Uh, haven't we been letting <laughs> diplomacy work for some time? We've been talking. The U.S. And, and Iran, they keep enriching Iran, uh, 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 uranium. The world is sanctioning Iran. It's hurting their economy, but they continue to enrich er, er, uranium. They have 3,000 kilograms of low-grade uranium enriched. That's one and a half times what you need for a weapon. Mm -hmm. As everybody talks, they keep enriching. As their economy gets hurt, they keep enriching. So how much of the president's speech do you say was political for the Jewish vote in 2012, and how much of it do you believe is how he really feels. You know, really, it's not what I think, it's what the Iranians think. It's his job as the leader of the free world to convince the Iranians to stop, cease, and desist. The burden should be on the Iranians, not us. It's not about, quit talking about what Israel should or should not do. Tell the Iranians, stop enriching or else, and here's what we want you to do to prove to us that you've stopped. So the president, I don't want to make this partisan. We're going to have a bipartisan vote in the Senate saying containment of Iran is not an option. We're going to stand behind the president if he'll do the right thing. But the only way to stop the Iranians, in my view, is if they believe a military strike of devastating consequence will come their way if they don't stop. And if they get a nuclear weapon, then that is something you don't want on your resume as a president. No kidding. I mean, it we've will, been saying it that for a It will change the world. There will be weapons throughout the Mideast. They will give this stuff to terrorists. So, Mr. President, Reassure the Prime Minister of Israel, do what you must to protect the Israeli people. I am with you. And to the Iranians, this is your last chance. Stop it or else. It would be better for the world if they do. And war with Iran will not be easy. We'll get hit. Mm -hmm. But if they get a nuclear weapon, it'll be a lot worse for us. Could it's be. a bad choice to make. Could be all but over. A, a Iran with a nuclear weapon is an unacceptable choice. All right, Senator Graham, thanks so much for your thoughts this morning. Yeah. Live here on the couch. Good to see you.